So you guys are probably wondering what I'm going to do with these with these ships. Well, we'll start with this little one first, and I think I'll, I'll like I said before, I'm going to paint it the appropriate colors. So I have air superiority blue, which is the closest to this color. I think this should be fine. And for the white, be a painting at semi gloss MS white. For the red tones, russet will be fine. So these three colors should be appropriate for these. For the Gamelis warships, obviously the green would have been, you know, the most appropriate choice for that for this. Um, and let me get the colors that I know that I'm going to need for the um, specific area, mainly this, meaning I'll be painting it yellow and a hint of orange to give it that weird effect look in the front. However, I was a, there was a, uh, let me see if I remember this, back in the 2199 episodes, um, there were these royal, sh um, there were these uh, elite ships. The, or the elite guards that that the Gamelis had. So you have the you have the navy colors, which is green, but the elite colors were blue. And I think I'll probably use this one, the uh, light blue color. It should be fine for this. Um, with the hint of, I know there's some areas that require the uh, gunmetal color or a darker tone. So obviously, tighten the blue. One will be an appropriate color for this. As for the Dreadnought, what color are we going to paint this guy? Well, again, I really like the the look of this. The color fine, you know, but I want to try something different. And we're going to use the same white for this, for the white parts. So we're not going to be using a separate color. Um, I want the pre-shading to show on this. And at first I was thinking maybe do something more lighter tone. Um, beige was something I could have used. Or I could have used something like this. This is a very light, but I think maybe that's a little too much. White on, on a light, very light blue color tone. Um, but... I don't know. I've always favored this color, and you don't normally see this on ships. So, for for whatever whatever it is, I'm going to paint it purple. So it will be a white and purple tone. Or maybe that's not a good idea. Maybe, maybe. Hold on. Maybe the purple will be the white parts and mm, Titan's blue 2 will be way too dark what do I have maybe a grayish tone grayish blue Hmm. Seeing that, I kind of like the gray because I don't want it too bluish. I don't know. I thought blue at that moment, but then if I'm doing blue with this, why am I gonna do blue with that? Gray. You know what? Maybe gray for the for the main deck for the main ship. But instead of purple, a dark blue. Okay, you know what? This is better. So the white parts will be replaced with Titan's blue one. Oh, sorry, <clears throat> Titan's blue two. And the main body will be painted grayish blue. And let's make sure I have enough. This is something I don't want to end up finding out I don't have any. You know, that's fine. I haven't been using Titan's Blue 2, so we know there's, an, there's ample. There's, there's enough there. This one has enough. What about you? 
Uh, yeah, you're okay. And I, and you're new. I have a ton of this. How about you? Uh, there's very little, but considering how small this kit is, that shouldn't be a problem. And I'll probably put like a couple of drops of thinner in there. And this one's already new as well. Alright. What do you guys think of this? This should be uh, fun to build. And of course the russet will go on to this one as well. That's bleeding through. So, let's do a speed build. Let's start building all these part kits and see how it looks overall before we begin painting. So, let's get the first kit out of the way and that will be the little mythical line version of the Earth Defense Force Battleship. These are really cool detailed parts for this ship. I remember getting my hands on this at MosquitoCon a few years ago. They actually had this um, somebody put posted or put it up um, in their raffle every every um, every time I go to the show they always raffle off like um, over 200 uh, kits but they always do it in like uh, groups of maybe 30 or 40 or whatever I don't know I could be wrong about the actual number <clears throat> and what you do is you buy a raffle ticket and then they'll call they'll randomly call off the tickets that's in the, in the little box and if your ticket was there you know you win you win what's what they attach the ticket to not what you're hoping for um, at the time I didn't win this but since um, there were like already people saying hey can I buy this and how much it is I think I paid like 20 bucks but not for this it was indeed like about 20 kits so like you could say a dollar a kit and I gave away a few to friends of mine but I took some that I really uh, really hope to build right now I'm can't, can't wait to build this one We'll get to the other ones in a minute. I just want to take a look at this. Here we go. Just want to leave a little bit there so when I glue this on, I can begin um, sanding it down so it looks nice. No, uh, oh. that goes in there. And then I got the thrusters. There's nothing inside. Oh, I see. You know. All right. So I gotta remove these. I'm going to remove these. Actually, no. I don't have to do that. What I'm talking about here in the instructions, you have these little peg things that goes right under the gun so you can tilt the gun. But I'm not going to put those on. I'm going to glue the whole thing on together because that way eh, I'm not going to display it with guns going left and right. No. My choice.
wonder how the Mecha Collide version of the 2202 Dreadnought will be like assembling it at this scale. Clearly you're not going to have this seam line in the middle. Bandai has gone to great lengths to hide those in the newer kits, even on Mecha Collide kits. So, it's good to see, you know, can't wait to do like a side-by-side -side comparison. Which reminds me, I should also build the Mecha Collide version of the Andromedas. Andromedas. Because I bought all that, all those ships. <laughs> Alright, that's good. That's pretty good. Interesting how they were able to get all these small parts in a, in a good, you know, style of mold. You know, the molding was pretty, uh, pretty well done back then. You do see a few parts that they can't do it like completely right. They have to like do uh, like the round you know you don't see no roundness in certain parts it's all like squared up still these little kits are fun to build I've been trying to get Gundam Planet to order these but apparently there's not uh, according to them, not a market for this. That's understandable. There, are, it's a it's a certain niche group that loves these little ships. Well, not these little ships specifically, even though these are classic ships. Um, the uh, what do you call it? The style, whether it's the Mecha Collide uh, Yamato kits, um, and now the new ones. You know, um, there's there's the Common Rider ones. There's the um, Ultraman ones, obviously the 2202 and 1909, uh, um, 2199, sorry, I said 1909. Um, what was another, I, th I thought I saw another Mecha Collide series of kits, I think it was the Dragon Ball, those little uh, vehicles. So those are good to, to get. That one goes there. I'm glad that Bandai introduced these. Uh, oh, wait a minute, the other way around, because that's the back. This is the front. And I'm glad that not Bandai, um, to me, introduced the extra thin cement. Back in the day, when I used to build one of these, uh, I used to use the tester's cement, which is like this big, like, tube of toothpaste-like um, cement. And that would, that leaves a, a tremendous amount of, of glue, and it's a mess, a big-ass mess. This one, of course, bleeds in through the, nice and, and neat. Let's look at that box. So we did that, and we did that. That's good. And then there's the two side. Wait a minute. Did I forget something? Oh no. <clears throat> this has to be split. Sanding sticks. I wonder um, if they'll do uh, what was what was one series of kits they could have easily done. <clears throat> they could have done Mecha Collide for for Gundam, like the. Um, the Musai and the uh, Salamis, Magellan, all the ships from the um, 
from that. Um, Battlestar Galactica is another one. We already know that they make Mega Collide for Star Wars. Did I put that right? It may be a little off, but that should be okay. Let me just do that again. There we go. Five, four, three, two, one. good. I'll let that try. Let me just send this, this part down and then we'll continue on. You know, I tend to forget that when you're working with old kits, you work with old kits. Especially kits that, even though they're close to what the anime or the, um, the series is, it's not always 100% accurate. Especially when you have the, the seam line um, molded in a way where it's not aligning properly. I've tried to position it perfectly with this so that way I can sand it down but it doesn't want to cooperate. Um, I think I could have done is easily put this in warm water to heat it up a bit and that way it's a little bit more manumable but I don't want it to damage that. It is what it is what you can what I can do. I, this one I had a hard time removing well, I didn't want to snip off the uh, the nub because then I don't want to leave a little bit of a dent. So I just left it there. I just cut it off a little bit and then began sanding it down. That was a, t a chore to do, especially getting it nice and even. But there's no way to get rid of the seam line. I could be here for hours, but I'm not going to do this because this is just basically a fun portion of the build. It's not intended for competition. That being said, um, I already put down the little winglets there and it's interesting that the the stand is on the side where you put the hole there that's kinda cool for this that's nice I'm just not digging it because how how flimsy it is um, it's not it's it's off-center because everything's all in the front granted I could probably put stuff here and maybe it'll balance out but I'm not gonna take any chances on this so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this this is actually a magnet and I'm going to glue this here. This has a significant weight to it. And I'm going to use some super glue. Hopefully, I have it. Yep, there's enough in there. Then I'm going to put that there to the back area. This way, it has a much more stable feel to it when you put it on the table. I'm going to actually remove this because I, I was going to lie this down. And I'm going to put this here so that way the glue... It, I don't want to put this on and then accidentally glue onto the table. We've already finished this part here. Let me just glue this. Put that super glue away. There's nothing to align this, so you really have to do it by eye, unfortunately. And these little winglets can be a pain to put them in order. 
I should, that's all right. And then there's only one little notch here as a guide to put it on, so we're just going to have to play with it a bit. And I'm noticing my wing keeps coming down. I'll have to put something to hold it up. There we go. Yeah, that's good enough. Yeah, that's going to annoy me, so I'm going to have to hold it on like so. And with the added glue, it should dry up a bit further. But uh, that's how the Earth Defense Battleship looks like. And then we have the holes. One goes here. Let's put this on for now. One goes there. I'm not gluing these on because I'm going to paint them. I'm going to try to do the same color scheme that's on the um, on the um, modern version of the. EDF battleship of the I'm sorry on the dreadnought so I'm gonna to try to paint the white in the middle I did that before with the Andromeda um, Mecha Collide version the old one I think that's fine then I guess gotta put the I knew that was gonna come off plus here the guns are paint, f f uh, facing down while these are facing normal and that's because even um, this part here is le lift up I'm gonna have to take this and sand down the bottom or sand it up in an angle so that way it can the guns can be facing up the winglets yeah I'm gonna leave that off there's no holes here so I'm going to find the, the uh, spacing so I can glue them on and that should be done with this I think this should be glued up yeah it hasn't bleeded over I'll put this on for now. Yeah, that's fine. All right. Oop. What do you guys think of that? Let me finish this up. We'll review it later on. But then let's now move on to the next portion of this build.